right, my friends, let's talk about this number. It's actually our number day today. If you're watching this on April 6th, it's our number day. So, when we make a six, you make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. It's pretty easy. So, what you can do is take your Play-Doh and make a really long snake. Uh-oh. My Play-Doh may be a little bit dried out because guess what? My darn puppy got into it. My doggy Shiloh thought it was food. That naughty little thing. So I'm making a snake. And I'll see if I can make it long enough to make my six with one snake. Let's see if I can do it. I have to make it long enough to do the curve and the loop of my six. Okay, I think I did it. Let's try. Make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. Okay, there's my six. And then, I used all my Play-Doh for this, so I'm just going to take a little off the top. How many do you think I would fill up in my ten frame? We're talking about six. How many do you think I'll fill up? One. Two. Three, four, five. Remember, we always want to fill up our top first, then go back down and start again. Six. So go ahead and give that a try with your Play Doh. If you have any, um, If you have any dry erase markers at home, you can also try and write it. Or on if you have any paper at home, you can try and practice it on your paper. You can practice it here on your 10 frame, making a six. This one is a small one, so you can practice doing tiny little numbers, more like numbers that you would write. But you can also flip it over onto your back and make a big six, too. And then you can try this for a, for using smaller, skinnier snakes, more like you would do if you were writing it with a pencil. Go ahead and give that a try. 